Okay, so camping with Steve here. We're out on the river. We're not camping. We're just gold mining. Um, I haven't given an update in a while, so I gotta let you guys know. I passed my test. There's one I have to rewrite for the Canada wide, but my provincial I passed, which is the important one. And uh, we're just out on the river. Got crazy neighbor, crazy neighbor's brother. I uh, got my wife, my not crazy wife. Um, and we met a couple other guys out here on the river, so they're a bit shy. We're gonna keep them out of out of view because not everybody wants to be on YouTube. But uh, we're gonna show you here the North Saskatchewan River. We got a fair bit of gold in it, and they used to actually get almost an ounce a day per man out of the river in the city of Edmonton. And there's less now because it's really been worked over, but it's fine, fine flower gold. Comes back every year, gets redeposited in the uh, in the banks and stuff. So we're gonna sure. we're gonna work away at that. And uh, thanks for tuning in and joining me and the posse out here on the river for a nice relaxing day of mining. Okay, so the chunks of gold on our rings here, those are from this river, and we. Uh, we mined that in about a day, and then we have got the ring maker to actually melt it all and put it on the rings. So that is where that gold came from. So we got some potential here, and I got some ambitious labor today, and we're going to hopefully get <laughs> a few more chunks of gold out of this river. Yeah. Roots. Oh. Roots are good to get in there too. Yeah, I have lots of roots. Okay, we're really losing our, all our pressure. Coming up, you see that? Yeah. There we go. What's doing, see? Okay, we're good to go. Not quite. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to film this here. That rock was just the right size. Yeah. So we had an issue with uh, there's a little gas powered pump here that pulls the water right out of the river and pumps it into the sluice. And I'll show you more of that. I have a few videos of this before um, that I've filmed, but that was ages ago, it was years ago. So just a refresher for some people might not know that I do a lot of gold mining. That's actually how YouTube kind of started for me was gold mining. So uh, we're getting our water pressure back here and then I'll go over the setup and how that all works. But uh, I think we're ready to, to give it. Hey guys, camping with Steve here. This is the gold mining setup. It's a sluice for people who don't know much about that, but I'm sure if you're watching my channel, you've seen uh, Gold Rush Alaska and all that stuff. So it's the same, same stuff, but uh, just a very small scale. But we did a repair on the pump. We had rocks getting sucked in, but I'm just gonna continue working on this, cook up a little food in a bit, and, uh, and we'll just hunker down by the river here. I don't know if you can see any of the gold in the pan. We really didn't work very hard, to be honest. But uh, tons of black sands, and there, there's some gold in there. I refine that out better at home later on, but uh, it's more for fun than for the gold, obviously. But uh, that's what we've got, and time to cook up some hot dogs. 
Our jam sessions, we normally feature another uh, guitar player who's missed it this week. Uh, he had to go out camping or something and he wanted to surprise us and showed up at the garage figuring that there was going to be a jam session without him, but we're out here gold mining on the river and having some beers and about to cook up some food. So this is Glenn's little kit. It's actually a really nice cooking kit. Fits in this DeWalt bag. He's got a cutting board and everything in here, including it all fits in here. It's the perfect mix because some of them are really small for backpacking. Some of them are just way too big. And I think this is the perfect, uh, perfect setup. So we're going to cook up some dogs here and we'll do my favorite little trick of dumping a beer in with them. I can figure this out. I'm only a journeyman gas fitter, you know. But uh, yeah, the tests went good. Only three people out of my entire class failed. Actually passed. It was a small class. Four failed, three passed. So they rewrote the test and it was a brutal, brutal test. Woo! Oh, we have fire! Well, no more hair left in the Fire head. in the hole! Protect the gold! Yeah. So it was a it was a tough test. However. Should be good as long as we don't tip it over. And of course, yeah, it's not a camping with Steve video if we don't cook something, so that should work. Just gonna put in a couple of uh, a couple of hot dogs here. I don't buy the crummy hot dogs or the crummy buns. No. Oh no! Okay, there's Steve. We survived. Good. We're all good. That's black sand. We got a river right here to wash the dogs off in, so that's perfect. One of these was yours, but you ate it. Okay. Now we recovered from that disaster because that's what we do. We just recover from things constantly. And uh, get these guys in here. That's my, my secret favorite trick is I, I like the beer. It boils down, caramelizes it, and it tastes delicious. It's a waste of a beer, kind of, but we have lots in the, in the bag here. And no cheap Wonder Buns. It's all bakery fresh baked today. I don't eat garbage like that. But uh, we'll boil these down and then hunker down with a snack by the river and then uh, reality comes tomorrow because it's Monday. And I should have this up tonight, I hope. So, thanks for tuning in. Oh, yeah. What, you got now or what? Oh yeah, I gave yours back and I gave C's back. And now I've given back all the lighter sets. Fuck the bottle off with the rock and strain no, the no, teeth no, through I your... No, 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 I cut my lip. Strain the fucking flash through your teeth. Now, if, I, to do it. if I do this wrong, I could be circumcised. Yeah, well, it, after the last failure in your circumcision, you're used to the pain, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's turning. <laughs> oh, here we go. Look at that. Holy cow, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Uh oh, the knife's stuck in there now. What do you do now? Break the knife off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this river is super shallow in places, so a jet boat is the only way to go. But these dogs are cooked. My buddy got chased on a quad. Here comes the boat. He smoked on the left. boat. Still, getting a little extreme. That was on his own goddamn Brand new knife. Yeah, no. But he went back to Just yeah. dreading going back to reality tomorrow, back to work. In the meantime, I'm going to soak up every well, they still tried. every ounce of nature and river here that I can before before it's time to get back to reality. Yeah, these these dogs cooked up very nicely. That caramelized uh, caramelized beer on there. Enjoying the river. You have to do those antique cars for as a uh, jump up for sale. You might have to talk him into uh, getting it uh, commissioned and taking it for a test drive. Rather than cheers. Alright, guys.
guys, thanks for joining for this video. I know it's not crazy, we're not camping overnight or nothing like that, but uh, it was fun. I'm going to try and edit the footage. There was a topless girl sunbathing in the back when we were trying to gold mine. And I know I can't put that on YouTube. I'm going to see if I can censor it. or It might not even have gotten in the shot, but <laughs> yeah, we were pretty surprised when uh, we looked over and there was just a topless sunbather on the river. But, there you go. Uh, that's what gold mining is all about.